So how are we starting this one off? You want to come up with an intro? Welcome back to No Sugar Added. We don't have a theme song. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to another episode of No Sugar Added. Today, I, well, we don't really know what to call this one, so we're just going to go and say it's a shout out. Last week, you might remember, we talked a little bit about stress. One of the things you find when you're trying to cut out sugar is that everything everywhere in the stores have sugar in them. So sometimes you find sugar in the most unlikely places, so of course we said be vigilant. And sometimes the easiest way to be vigilant is to make it yourself. Sometimes when your life is full of stress, what do you not like to do? Make everything. It really, really takes a lot of time to try and figure out recipes for all these things and put it all together on your own. And a lot of people don't have that kind of time. I mean, it's nice you get to make something yourself, but yeah, you it, to have that time to make everything, it's very, very, very additional stress. So today we're doing some honorable mentions. We found certain products that we didn't actually have to make ourselves. We found actual versions of these things. Actual companies actually make these things and actually put them on store shelves and they actually don't have any added sugars. I oh know, it's so great. We were very excited when we found a lot of these and we want to share some of them with you. Now we haven't been uh, sponsored by any of these products. I want to make that clear. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to get right down to it and we're going to show you some of these products that we found that make our lives so, so much easier. First thing I want to talk about is bread. Now this might be where I need to point out that we aren't doing any sort of low carb thing here. We are just cutting out sugars. That being said, most breads that you find on grocery store shelves are going to have extra sugars in them probably because most breads are processed foods. The best way you can go about trying to find a no sugar added sort of bread is to find yourself a fresh market. We go to Caputo's. They have a whole lot of selection when it comes to bread and one of the ones that we were able to find there was a whole grain loaf of bread by Today's Temptations. What's nice about it is it has the label sugar-free right on there. Another brand that Caputo's happens to carry is Val's, and they also have no sugar right on the label there. Uh, there's other options you can go with. One that might be found in some average other types of grocery stores is Ezekiel bread. Now, not all Ezekiel breads are sugar-free, but this one happens to not have any added sugars. It's the sprouted 100% whole grain bread. Now, Just Foods was something we came by on accident. We actually were gonna make our own mayonnaise. And then we saw this, because guess what? We love mayonnaise. And this has Vinegar, egg yolks, water, olive oil, soybean oil, mustard. It is basic, especially if you look at other mayonnaise. We've been getting our deli meats from a variety of different sources, but one I want to point out to you is called Boar's Head. Now, they have a very interesting feature on their site called Digicatessen. You can go on there and you can say, I want to see your sugar-free products, and they will lay them right out for you. It is very helpful and makes things a whole lot easier and it has allowed us to eat roast beef. So most Dijon mustards have sugar in it. So all those really nice mustards, those great poupons have some form of sugar. Um, thankfully, one of my favorite ones that I used to get anyway, it was already in my fridge, Coops, does not have sugar. I mean, their honey mustard does, but everything else, deli, Dijon, spicy, you're good. In general, tortilla chips don't have any added sugars in them. They are just corn and some type of oil, maybe sometimes a little bit of lime. Now you might be wondering why I'm mentioning that, and that's because of this next thing, salsa. Anytime you pick up a jar of salsa, it is going to have sugar listed on the label. That doesn't mean it's the type of sugar that we are necessarily trying to avoid. It could be the sugar from the tomatoes. You really have to read the label and see if there are any chemically sounding names that you don't recognize. One that we have found that we have been using is Frontera's 
roasted corn salsa. Now, Frontera, not all of their sauces are without sugar, but this one happens to be, so we kind of like it. Another brand where most of the ones I've found haven't had added sugars in them have been Pace. Uh, this was another pleasant surprise because Daisy, you kind of see everywhere anyway. So we're looking through the market. I'm trying to find one that has basics. And of course, I avoid this because it looks very name brand. I'm used to this. I look through all of them and they got list after list after list. This one is simple. There is actually one ingredient. Grade A cultured cream. So a little shout out to Daisy's Sour Cream. If you see it in the market, go for it. It is easily found. As I said before, carbs aren't off limits, and that could mean pasta. If they have whole wheat durum seminola pasta, then you are golden. But that means pasta sauce, and in general, most pasta sauces you find on the shelves will have added sugars. At one point, we didn't know about this, so we had to try making our own pasta sauce. It was relatively easy, but it was time consuming, so this saved a lot of headaches. It's uh, no sugar added pasta sauce, by Mario Batali. Mario Batali makes a whole line of these pasta sauces and they all have this handy little label that says no sugar added. And again, any food company can put any labeling they want on their food and they don't really have to back up that claim. But if you go on the back and you look at the ingredients, you will see nothing but actual food, actual words you recognize as real foods. And that is the difference. And that's what you'll find here and on all the other Mario Batali no sugar added pasta sauces. I am very, very grateful to him for putting this out because it makes life so much easier. And I personally did not want to find myself giving up pasta because I couldn't find a suitable pasta sauce. This one was a lifesaver.